You are standing on stage at the American Shakespeare Center Blackfriars Playhouse in Stanton, Virginia. It is a recreation of the Blackfriars Playhouse in London. From 1597 to 1642, Shakespeare's company performed many of their best known works on the Blackfriars stage. You may have heard of the company's other main venue, The Globe, a large amphitheater style playhouse in the entertainment district south of the Thames. It could hold up to 3,000 spectators. Admission was one penny. It attracted an audience that included everyone from humble workers to elite members of the court. The Blackfriars was an indoor theater built inside a medieval monastery in the heart of the city. It was known as a private theater because it was relatively small and attracted a more socially aspiring clientele. It had a maximum capacity of approximately 500. Admission was sixpence. The rectangular design of the Blackfriars derives from the courtyards of inns Spectators could sit on wooden benches in a central seating area or in one of the tiered galleries. For a little bit more money, spectators could also sit in the Lord's galleries at the side of the stage or on special Lord's chairs located directly on the stage itself. The seating arrangement in the Blackfriars leads to an especially direct, interactive relationship between the actors and the audience. For example, an actor delivering a soliloquy may seem as though she is speaking directly to an audience member, as in this scene from Hamlet. Now, I am alone. <laughs> you may have noticed that the stage is completely bare. Shakespeare's company performed on an empty stage without the sets and set changes we find in modern theaters. Lighting in the Blackfriars was provided primarily by candlelight, which lit the stage and seating areas more or less equally. Like the surround seating, universal lighting made the audience an especially apparent and important aspect of theatrical experience. Behind the stage, you can see the tiring room, which provided an area for quick costume changes. The tiring room has a central alcove known as the discovery space. This space could open to reveal a shop, tomb, study, or closet. At the center of the stage, you will notice the trap door. This feature of the playhouse was called Hell because it typically served as an entryway for ghosts, demons, and evil spirits. The actor playing Hamlet may have used the trapdoor to signify an open grave during his famous speech with York's skull. For example. No one now to mock at your own jeering. <laughs> Quite chop fallen. <laughs> We hope you have enjoyed this virtual tour of the American Shakespeare Center Blackfriars Playhouse. For more information, please visit AmericanShakespeareCenter.com. <laughs>